Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Tudor Fast Rider Black Shield, 42mm in monoblock ceramic. You can see and you can purchase this Tudor automatic chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Tudor Fast Rider Black Shield. Now, the Fast Rider Black Shield is sort of, but not quite, Tudor's Daytona. This watch is very much its own thing. It has a personality, a composition, and a character that's decidedly at odds with Rolex's famous sports chronograph, but that's not to say it's a shrinking violet by any means. Rather, it's bolder, it's more assertive, and it's a little bit more exuberant than its older sister. Now, you'll note the watch 42 millimeters across the round of the case from 9 to 3 actually wears quite compact. It's not as thick as you might think. 14.7 millimeters with a generously sloped bezel. It will fit underneath a blazer or sport jacket cuff. Heck, maybe even a dress cuff if you wear it a little bit loose. Stay away from that second button and you could pull this off. And with an all black aesthetic, that is the modern mode. That is something that you can wear with all attire today. So while it may be stark, think of it as bold rather than overbearing or excessively flamboyant. It is the man, after all, who makes the watch. Now from lug to lug, it's a reasonable 49 millimeters. Again, it's more of a cushion case than a round case, and it wears that way. The ceramic monoblock case with ceramic bezel ensuring that the watch wears light on the wrist. Ceramic is lighter than most metals, including stainless steel, so the watch feels like a lighter timepiece. It's light and wieldy, so eyes closed, you'd swear that this is a 39, 40 millimeter watch, and it packs a strap to match. The strap, although very nicely integrated to the flanks of the case, look look how coherent, look how seamless that is. Very little daylight showing between strap and case. Nevertheless, it's not constrained against the case flank. You can pull it straight down. So if you have that smaller wrist, if you have that 14, 14 and a half centimeter wrist, you can still pull this watch off with security and a good solid fit. The strap is nicely made, bolstered down its center with a contrasting stitch. It's calfskin with folded edges, a more natural calfskin grain with a little bit of rustication or suading on the bottom. After all, it may not be a Daytona, but it's not trying to be. So it can be a little bit more adventurous with the motorsports themes that are introduced both aesthetically and thanks to this Alcantara-like underside, also the textures, the feel, the sensuous aspects of the watch. Now the timepiece features uh, expressive dial flanked by a tachymetric scale in matching ceramic. Ceramic's advantage is that it's effectively as hard as a sapphire crystal, so you're going to have a difficult time accidentally scratching the watch. Most times when you rub it even against metal, what you'll see is a deposit of whatever you rubbed on the watch and it can be easily removed with a pencil eraser. That's how durable this is. Effectively, if you're not the kind of guy to crack or scratch a sapphire crystal, if you've never shattered a sapphire crystal, you can expect this watch to look effectively new for the duration of your ownership. That's the advantage of ceramic. The watch has a classic tri-compax, tri-register, bilateral symmetry dial, and that's born of a Valjoux 7753. It's a version of the 7750 with a conventional tri-compax dial arrangement, so all adjustments of the date are done with this shield-style pusher adjuster on the flank. Now, the watch features all the virtues of a 7750, including rapid winding, high efficiency winding, I should say. You know that famed unidirectional rotor wobble. It also kicks a heck of a lot, winding the watch up to its maximum rated power reserve of 46 hours. There is a date window, nice and discreet, at 43, or I should say 430. It does feature a quick set, but only via the pusher adjuster, not through the stem. Of course, the chronograph, easy to use, and I must say for a cam system, this one is exceptionally crisp. Also features hacking seconds when you unthread the crown, pull it, stop the balance, halt the seconds hand, synchronize precisely to a reference time. And again, it does go one up on its sister from Rolex, the Daytona being 100 meter water resistant, the Tudor Fast Rider Black Shield being 150 meters water resistant. So throw it on a textile or a rubber strap and you'll be ready not just for fun in the sun, but beneath the waves. You can see and you can purchase this 42 millimeter ceramic automatic chronograph from Tudor on our website.